Hi, welcome back. This is Sanjay Kumar Verma from Unikaksha. So, my dear friend, in the earlier session, we have already discussed how to configure a web server using of the user data, right? So, you can define the user data in the template file. That means where you have the code of your EC2 instance. That means you have all the resource detail in the file and where you can inject the user data and when you are going to run the template file right then your instance will be live with your user data but now what i want i do not want share the user data in my template file might be i have a script right it's a dot sh script so my script is separate so i want to inject my dot sh script with my terraform template file right what is the idea behind of this actually when you are going to share the user data with your template file that means my code length is going to increase right and any point of time i want to change something so that means i will open the main template file and i will do the changes right so but when i have a a script file as a separately so what to do i no need to open the my template file you no need to disturb of your code you can do the changes in the your your main script file what you want right so this is the idea behind of this so i will show you how we will perform of this so this is my linux machine here i am going to log in with root credentials so now do the ll so right so i have the code so first of all i'm going to jump inside the terra data directory right so here i have my code so when i will show you this file right because in this file i have the detail about of the how to provision the ec2 instance using of the user data right so now you can see this is the way for example this is the code this is the name of your machine this is the ami this is the access key and here you are going to inject of this information right so my code length is going to increase so what i want i do not want to share this detail in this file right this is the main template file of my ec2 instance right using of this i can provision the resource so what i want i want to inject the detail from other file right i do not want to share this kind of detail in the main template file so i will do right so now let me go the outside from this correct and where is my code just a second let me jump inside the cd ec2 right so this is the file insta install underscore apache.sh right so vim you can view of this content right so this is the script correct so i want to inject this file so let me come out from this and let me create a another directory mkdir right you can create any directory like unikaksha correct and again jump inside the ec2 and copy this file installed dot apache inside the unikaksha correct go outside and jump inside the unikaksha so now you can see file is available and let me do the cat of this file so you can see when this script is going to execute so first of all it will install the package that's apache package httpd right then it will create a file using of the echo web server using terraform right and and this output should be available inside of the where www.html index.html file after this you have to start the apache service that you have to enable this service permanently correct so now this code is available so what to do let me write a another code where i will write a code uh, that means how to provision of the ec2 instance right so in that a template file i will not share this detail correct so let's see so let me go inside 
my unikaksha folder right so i have copied the ec2 templates you can view this code this is ec2 template so in this code i don't have any kind of user data so now point is that how to inject so let me go inside and let me paste the code that means so using of this you can inject of your file right the parameter is data template file which name is web user data you can define any name right template file that means this is the name of your file right after this you can inject you have to share this detail for your ec2 instance so in this file under the security group you will pass out this parameter right user data right that means it will point out of my template file data dot template right underscore file this is the name of my file rendered correct so like this you can so here you can see i didn't share the user data so what to do let me do the save of this code correct and my dear friend now you can see provider is not available in this file so first of all let me copy the provider Mm, because when you don't have the provider or credentials you are not able to execute anything terra data and here the file cp provider.tf where you are going to assign the absolute path unique action correct again jump inside the unique action folder right provider.tf is there so my dear friend first of all when you are going to run the terraform validate then you will get the error so you have to initialize the plugin terraform in it internet should be connected otherwise you will get the error please wait it will take some time now provider is available then i will hit tree hyphen a perfect right so plugins are there so what to do we have to run the terraform validate so i am getting this error why i am getting this error because when i will do the ll because security group is not available in this so when i terraform is going to read the template file so in this file ec2 he is able to find every entry but this entry is missing actually the source code is not available in the current working directory so what to do we have to copy this source code because we are going to configure a web server so in the security group i have already assigned the rule for uh, apache so cd inside the tara code i think i have the security group yes cp security group let me do the copy because my dear friend one time you have write the code so you no need to written the code again and again right so you have to follow a smart process cd unique aksha correct now you can see again run the terraform validate perfect now you can do the dry run terraform plan correct and you can see in my aws web console i don't have any kind of instance right so you can see this is zero perfect and it's showing only one key pair this is root wall key perfect so i think i have already shared the same key pair 
with my easy to yes root ball perfect then now terraform plan yes it's going to provision two resources one is security group another is easy to instance now you can see security group and this instance so what to do we have to run the terraform apply perfect terraform apply yes we have to do the yes it's a creating security group you can see on my screen and it's a creating ec2 instance wow so friends you can see two resources are successfully added in my aws web console so when i will show you in my aws web console so my web server should be live right so let me copy this public IP and let me paste and go. Wow, web server using of the Terraform because I have injected the user data using of the .sh script file. So this is the idea behind of this. So that's why in the production environment, always you have to put off your user data in a .sh script file, right? So you no need to share your user data in the main template file. So any point of time you can do any changes, right? For example, this is the file. So you can make the changes in this file, file what you want. For example, you want to install the another package. Yeah, it will be executed, right? So like this, you can perform of your task. So thank you so much.